So today's pour is my second experiment with the leaky cup from Massey Art Studios. So um, this time I wanted to make sure that I have, um, that I had a pretty uh, base coat just in case I wanted to leave some negative space. So I decided to use um, a really pretty uh, pearl amethyst by Liquitec. Liquitex basics and um, so the amethyst has a tiny bit of um, pink tulip in it which is also a pearl actually it's not Liquitex it's um, Arteza and so it has a tiny bit of uh, pink tulip or pearl pink tulip so um, because I did mix it then it's considered a custom color and so when you put it on a base a custom color then you want to make sure that you don't leave any like marks on um, on the canvas because it will show once it dries it'll show um, you know dings or dents and stuff like that and so that's why I decided to put a little bit more um, of the paint on um, the canvas just to make sure that everything's covered and then I tilt it back and forth to try to have it leveled as much as possible so um, because it is um, fluid art um, it should level off while I uh, pour my paints into the leaky cup so um, also I thought that my uh, canvas was not in screen so I moved it to <laughs> make sure it was on screen but it turns out that I uh, moved it out of screen uh, but not not too much and the main thing really right now is that since um, I'm basically just loading the cup and you can actually see the the leaky cup then it's okay now um, what I wanted to do differently this time is I wanted to put enough paint because last time the uh, pour was great and the colors and the um, composition was great it, there just wasn't enough paint to cover um, the flower shape um, so I don't know if you recall that um, so this time I wanted to make sure that I put enough paint so I'm gonna be uh, putting a lot of these paints in there and um, but also I have the safety net of having a really beautiful base coat so if I wanted to, I could um, leave some negative space. But um, like I said, I want to um, see if I can uh, make sure that I have enough um, paints on here. And so I'm basically utilizing I, you know, as, as many paints as possible, I'm trying to do like dark colors then light colors darks and then lights and so I also wanted to do a variety um, I wanted to have the garnet and the copper and gold um, and maybe like a yellow together um, because those are for me they're great combinations I love it and then but I also wanted some cool colors in there as well so in addition to the amethyst I put um, some dioxazine purple, and the dioxazine purple is Liquitec Basics. But then I also put in permanent uh, blue violet by uh, Amsterdam. I put in um, the uh, light, um, no, what is it? Green Thalo Light by Golden. I put in aqua, bright aqua by Liquitex. I put in Turquoise by Amsterdam. I also had Ultramarine by Amsterdam. And of course, my Thalo Blue by um, Liquitex Basics. So yeah, so I, I put in a mush posh of uh, like um, colors. Oh, I also put in the, the right there is the Cadmium Yellow Deep Hue by um, that one's Liquitex Basics. And then I also put in cadmium no not cadmium i put in carmine which is like that um watermelon red by amsterdam which is so beautiful and then i'll of course i use the rouge with it 
because I love it. And then I also used the Azo Orange by Amsterdam as well. So yeah, like I said, I put in uh, tons of colors because I wanted it to be bright. I wanted there to be enough paint on the canvas to be able to cover it. But then also, like I said, I had the face safety net of, um, of the beautiful base coat. And so here is where I kind of went wrong. Um, instead of going, you know, to the other side, I should have gone to the middle and then to the side, but I didn't. And so I deformed my flower uh, from the leaky cup. So another experiment is warranted because um, I want to see if maybe um, the issue um, it's not necessarily the cup or limitations in the cup, but rather maybe I'm making a mistake. Um, so like I said, the first experiment did give us a good composition. Obviously, it's pretty basic or whatever, but it, it, it was a very pretty composition. This one, um, I think my um, layers need to be like uh, smaller. So like... Uh, yeah, so they need to be smaller so that there's like less, you know, or thinner, thinner. That's what they should be thinner. And then also, obviously, when I, instead of um, tilting it next time, I'm going to try to use the Lazy Debra. So that way um, it, I'm not tilting it so that it basically is um, using, um, uh, using the force to like maintain the composition, but then not... Um, um, also by spinning it basically it's just pushing it from the middle slowly pushing it out and then it should cover evenly all around provided obviously that my lazy Davers is uh, leveled and I don't always get that part because to do that you have to make sure that the stuff is you know completely centered and it's um, yeah I'm not able to do that um, but um, nonetheless, even even though I uh, by tilting it, I did deform the composition a little bit. I do love the colors; they're super bright, um, they're beautiful, and so I'm thinking that this is going to be an awesome base for um, um, you know, probably like a traditional piece, or just maybe just leaving it this way. I love the colors, and like I said, um, this is about experimenting uh, uh, on the leaky cup and see um, what it does and that sort of thing. So I'm going to try one more time, and then uh, and with that experiment, I'm going to use a Lazy Debra. But then the, the following time that I use this leaky cup, I'm going to use it upside down. Um, Fiona from Fiona Art used it upside down, and she got a better composition. So I'm going to see if, um, and that's really the reason why I decided to go ahead and order it. Because the first time that the Massey Art Studios um, unveiled it, it did create like, I mean, it was pretty enough, the composition, but it wasn't like outstanding. And so I kind of hesitated because it's super expensive. But then when I saw Fiona you know, use it upside down. I thought, mm, you know, I'm going to give it a shot. So I want to make sure that like, I can actually use it a couple times and have it be beautiful. So anyways, thank you for uh, stopping by and watching my experiment. Um, this is uh, the close up of the wet piece and um, I'll show you the white, the dry results as soon as it dries. Um, but like I said, I love these colors. I think they're super beautiful. They kind of remind me of a sunset here. I mean, our sunsets are just glorious. And uh, yeah, so thank you so much again. And I look forward to uh, welcoming you back uh, for the next one. So thank you so much.